Hello, and thank you very much for joining me here today. It's Galit Goldfarb, and today we're gonna be talking about the five keys to help you overcome bloating and gas when transitioning to a plant-based diet. Now, many people who are new to a plant-based diet may find themselves feeling bloated more often than usual, especially in the beginning, and this can be very, very uncomfortable and so much so that they even believe that something may be wrong with them or that this diet is completely unsuitable for them. But this is not really the case. Before you panic and quit, know that your body's reactions to a new diet is absolutely normal and it's just your body transitioning from your previous standard diet to a diet that is rich in fiber and many more nutrients. Now that you're eating more fiber and cellulose rich vegetables and legumes, your body is just adjusting and the bloating and gas will eventually subside. And once your microbiome, which is the bacterial population that resides in your gut, will change with this diet, then everything will feel much better. The new microbiome that your body will support will be healthier and more beneficial for you now and in the future. The microbiome has many, many beneficial effects on your health, and this will change with a plant-based diet, which influences your health overall. So long as you don't take antibiotics, where you may need to start this whole process all over again. So here are five tips that will help you overcome this phase so that you don't have to give up on the new, healthier, plant-based lifestyle and you may stick to it for good. So number one is to take digestive enzymes or eat foods that are rich in digestive enzymes like papaya and pineapple. They're very, very rich in digestive enzymes. In the beginning where you have bloating and gas are signs that really you have a digestive enzyme shortage. Now, when you don't have enough, you feel discomfort in the form of indigestion. Uh, sometimes you have diarrhea, sometimes you'll have constipation, you'll have bloating and you'll have gas. This is a shortage of digestive enzymes. Now, these supplements can help your body break down the carbohydrates, proteins, and fats that come from the food and the fiber as well, helping your body digest and absorb more nutrients. So your body is meant to naturally and effectively break down these uh, foods, but when you've been eating a diet composed of either rich in processed foods or overcooked foods or foods that have been stored for a long time or a diet rich in animal products, many of the beneficial enzymes in your body may have either been destroyed or you will have a, an imbalance in the, the digestive enzymes in your body. So now that you've moved to a plant-based diet, you're on the road to restoring your body's natural digestive enzymes with time. So the second tip is to eat probiotic-rich foods and supplements, or and take supplements. So probiotic-rich foods include fermented foods such as kimchi, miso, pickles, and sauerkraut, and probiotics are often referred to as the friendly bacteria which aid in digestion and absorption of nutrients preventing gas and bloating they have these are the microbiome really so the pro probiotics is what we take when we take them in supplements we are actually adding bacterial strains to our present microbiome helping it adjust to the new diet so they can help alleviate the gas by improving intestinal function which influences how much gas your body will produce now, according to a study from the University College of Medicine in Korea, probiotics affect bacterial fermentation, which influences intestinal motility and the production of gas. So supplementation during the early stages of transition to a plant-based diet is very, very helpful. You can take probiotics with fatty foods in the morning, excellent way to take them to aid in their assimilation. Now, when looking for a good probiotic supplement, find one that has at least 10 different uh, bacterial strains and go for the ones that have the most colony forming units. You'll see them on the label. Go for ones that have over 50 billion and preferably 100 billion CFUs, which are the number of bacteria colony forming units. Also, you want to soak your foods for longer. So untreated phytic acid combines with zinc, calcium, iron, and magnesium, and it prevents its absorption in the intestinal tract. So by soaking grains and beans overnight before cooking them the next day, you will have 
gotten rid of almost all of these anti-nutrients, including the phytic acids, the lectins, the saponins, that cause pain and indigestion, gas and bloating as well. So you also want to be sprouting your foods. Sprouting is a very simple process of germinating seeds. I have a video that I made last week about it. And this brings out their enzymes and by consuming sprouts, your body is receiving a rich source of nutrients, including more vitamins, minerals, enzymes as well. And sprouted seeds are also an ex excellent source of protein, amino acids, and fiber, of course, and they all of these help to alleviate bloating and gas. And the last one, the last tip is be patient. For some people, the transition does take longer and you may feel bloated for a little while longer, but it does eventually subside and your body will eventually adapt, I promise. Your microbiome will shift to become healthier with different bacterial strains to break down the increased levels of fiber. And also your body will make much more salivary amylase enzyme in the mouth to help the digestion of carbohydrates already at the start of the digestive process in your mouth. And soon you'll notice much less bloating and gas and you will also feel much better on a healthier diet. So the secret is to remain persistent and to stick with your new dietary habits at least for a few months so that your body will be able to make the changes as quickly as possible. Remember that a little bloating and gas is a lot better than going back to your old lifestyle and dietary habits. And a little bloating and gas is actually normal on every single diet because it's the byproduct of digestion. So I hoped you liked these few tips and if you did give it a thumbs up you may subscribe to my channel. You may also visit my blog at www.thegorilladiet.com for more information on the health products. Please write a comment on what you liked or what interests you in this video and or anything else you want to comment on and what you would like me to talk about. I'd be very happy. Thank you very much for joining and see you in the next video.